Hey everybody, Mr. Kevin here. And today I'd like to talk to you about table saw blades. I'd like to go over uh, four different blades that I use. Four. <laughs> One, two, three, five. So I'm gonna go grab a couple blades and uh, let's talk. Let's have some blade talk. All right, blade talk, here we go. Table saw blades and uh, what you need to know about them. All right, here we go. <laughs> So if I had one, I'm looking at all my blades here and I'm like, which one would I use? It's combination 52 ripper. So this here, if you look at the little thing, it tells you what it's good for. This just says it's good for almost everything except for non-ferrous material, whatever that is. If I only had 75 bucks and I wanted to buy a blade, I would buy a 50 tooth blade because it does everything. It's an it's, uh, alternating tooth, which means one tooth goes one way, one tooth goes the other way, and then it's got a square cut right in the middle. <laughs> I'll put it right there. See? Alternating tooth and a square cutter. And it works pretty good. And this will work good for just about everything. Okay, so if you can only afford one blade, <laughs> this is the blade you want. For me, if I only had uh, $75 and one blade to buy. My first one would be the Cabinet Cutters Crosscut Blade. It's a 60 tooth blade. Here you go. Uh, made by Freud. And this is an alternating tooth. It also has a little gizmo right here that says what it's good for. And I'll, I shall read it to you uh, heretofore. Ripping wood, fair. All right. Cross cutting wood, excellent. Chipboard, fair. Plywood, excellent. And it does, it cuts plywood, excellent. And laminate, not so much, fair. So it's got three fairs and two excellents. So the reason I buy this one here is for cross cutting solid stock and ripping plywood. And you can cross cut plywood with it too. It cuts pretty good, pretty damn good. Since I have four blades, <laughs> this is the first one I would buy because of uh, what it does. So, the reason I buy, I like this over the combination, ah, because I have this guy right here. So it's this one. Well, how do I put it in there? This one is a heavy duty rip blade. So this heavy duty rip blade is good for ripping solid stock, okay, from three quarters to two and three quarters thick. And it, this works amazing. So I use this rip blade when I'm making my drawers to not only rip the drawers, but also to do the dados and the rabbits. Well, I dado it out here because it leaves a nice square cut. Uh, you see it anywhere? Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. That is from using this rip blade, nice and square, okay? Nice and square because it's square tooth. The combination also has a square tooth, um, but it kind of leaves these little weird uh, rabbit ears on the outside. Also, I do this. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on here too. You see that cut right there? I do this with this blade also. So this back rabbit, I use the same blade for. So we get everything dovetailed. Then I put the dado on the bottom, right? And then I rabbit the back all in one shot. And there's a video on how to make the most awesome drawers ever over here. Save you time and money. Because these are amazing. All right. Enough of that self-promotion. So if you're having problems cutting uh, solid stock and it's like if you're cutting oak and it's, uh, you know, other than it's just pinching on your blade and burning it, but if it, you're running into burn or chatter or things of that nature, it's probably because you have too many teeth and this will help you out. Woodworking's like fly fishing. Uh, you just can never stop buying stuff. <laughs> yeah, if you fly fish, you know what I'm talking about. So the last blade I have, I use for my plywood. It's a triple chip blade with nine billion teeth on it. <laughs> it's a triple chip. And if you can see right there, it's like alternating tooth with this weird looking uh, 45 degree cutter thing in the middle. 
This cuts plywood excellently. It cross cuts plywood pretty good. It says good, but it's excellent for uh, you know ripping plywood, chipboard, and laminate. So if you do laminate work, or you know melamine, ugh, you know, things like that, this is the blade you want. Okay, you need blades like this for milling plywood because it makes a nice sharp edge, and uh, it works amazing. So you think about it, and you got seventy-five dollars times four. <laughs> That's some serious money you got there, Jimmy. You got $300 in blades with these four blades right here. I feel like a blade commercial. <laughs> yes, you need uh, 9,000 blades and spend $4 million on your blades because uh, that's what Mr. Kevin says to do. Uh, you know, I hope I don't cut my arm off or something with all these blades. <laughs> so, blades. You can never have too many blades. Blades are good. Uh, the more blades you have, the longer the blades will last. If you're just using one blade and one blade only, it's going to burn up kind of quickly because of different things you do, you know? Unless you're just milling, uh, you know, like toilet paper. Blades. Hey. These are all the blades I use. And uh, plus a dado stack. So, in my opinion, uh, the more blades you have, the better off you're going to be. All right, so if you only have money for one blade, I would suggest you get yourself a combination blade, a 50 tooth combination blade. It does good on all sorts of things, good. But for an overall thing, as a woodworker who does all sorts of different things, you wanna get yourself a, uh, a heavy duty rip blade, 24 tooth blade, cabinet maker's blade for cross cutting and ripping plywood, that's pretty good. And if you're milling a bunch of casework like plywood and Ripping plywood and melamine and all that stuff, you need yourself a 80 tooth blade. And this is uh yeah, this is key for you know cutting plywood, making sure it's really nice and smooth cut. It doesn't chip out your uh, laminate or your veneers, or you know, I've even used this to cut Corian with. Uh it stinks. Corian stinks. Hey. And that's my story of blades. And that's the blades that Mr. Kevin uses in his little silly shop over here in the middle of nowhere. I've heard people say that you only need one blade, you only need a combination blade, 50 tooth blade. Well, if that's all you can afford, then that's all you're going to get, then definitely buy this. One blade, no. 7,000 blades, maybe not. Um, I have four that I use constantly, and I have a dado stack, which I haven't used in over a year and a half because it's, I just don't have a need for it. This right here, this eighth inch blade, you can do dados. You can do rabbits, you can do all sorts of stuff with. It's an eighth inch thick and it's square. One of my favorite blades right here. All right, well, thanks for watching Woodworking with Mr. Kevin. <laughs> That's me. You have an awesome day and I'll see you next time on the same wavelength here on the YouTubes. Well, thanks everybody for hanging out with me and listening to my baloney. And if you have any questions, uh, comment below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And uh, that's, my, that's my opinion on table saw blades. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Uh, hit the like button and the notification bell. You get more baloney from me. And uh, I'll see you next time on Woodworking with Mr. Kevin. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>